four corner tag match for the World Tag Team title. The champions fighting, of course, the duo of Purple Cajun and General Wrenchin, the other two teams, but one of the four teams, the perfect event. John Stajak and Chuck Palumbo in the ring right now. Jim Dragon O'Hare, the fourth team, only coming out here to face the perfect event. I know you like Stajak and you like Palumbo, but you got to also admire these two young men. Jim Dragon, Sean O'Hare, O'Hare on the left, Jim Dragon on the right. you think I like the best? Because of my attitude? Because of my desire? Because of the way I am? They are known. They've been known to take the shortcuts, which is kind of like a part of the brain playbook. More than you probably like. I knew I was right. Here we go. It's going to be Mark Chindrak and Chuck Palumbo to start things. The belt, I want to tell you, a win by either of these teams will certainly give them a lot of momentum heading to their blood rights. You a Jindrak backwards says? No. Cut <laughs> to Who cares? Look at look at stick around. Look at the freak of the legs of Jindrak. Great athletes. Yes, they are. And Sean O'Hare. Here's the double team. Oh! oh. Wow! They've done their homework. Cover one, two, and a two count that time. Fact is that Chindrak and O'Hare graduated from the WTW power plant in a mere six months. Both men in their early 20s, and obviously they are trying to make a big showing here against oh! two men. the double deal. Two men who have been world tag team champions. Sean Stasiak, perfection, if you will. Sean Stasiak and the event, Chuck Palumbo. Here's a pickup. Stasiak is better and better every time I see him. I knew his father very well years ago. What a wrestler this man was. The, the master of the heart punch. Stand the man Stasiak. That's right. Oh! Oh, that time Jindrak fell over the top and Palumbo oh. comes in with a knee. And down goes Sean O'Hare. Well, they've been very successful now. They have cut off O'Hare. Here's a cover one, two. Jindrak barely escaped that time. Close. On the outside. Sean Stajak, Sean O'Hare, O'Hare. That, that's a pretty good move. O'Hare got rid of him and now goes back. He's probably helping oh. his partner out. And his partner needs some help because down goes Jindrak. And a strong lariat showing that time by Chuck Palumbo. Watch this. Double chain with a fine back elbow. Nicely done. Come on, ref. Turn around. He's pinning the man. I don't think he's doing that brain. He's hammering the, the tempo ahead of Jindrak and allowing Jindrak to climb back to his feet. Jindrak up. There you go. A lot of hard determination to mark Jindrak that we've seen over the past few months. Into the top. Turn the ball oh. ahead. Stasiak. Drop him. Drop him. Mix him up. Mix him in. Front face drop. He's got a one, two, no. Sean O'Hare made the save. You know, the longer they become tag team partners, the more they wrestle as a tag team, the better they're going to become. Atomic drop. Inverted atomic drop. And a double. Great teamwork. Well, that was a great team. And a couple, one, two. But Jindrak got out. How about that? A Russian leg sweep combination. Standing sidekick that time by the perfect event. One of the better double teaming moves we've seen in a long time. And now Palumbo with a sleeper hold on Jindrak. Call downstairs. Leave a wake-up call. This man's going to bed. He's been in the match the, almost the entire time. And Jindrak who desperately needs Sean O'Hare to make the tag and get in here. He's still moving, he's still finding it. The best way to fight a sleeper, you gotta turn your head to the left. Turn to the left, that way they can't cut off the Ferrari riders. Not also, many people know that. And also, they say, Brian, the more you fight, it's sometimes the worse it is. Oh, yeah, there's no doubt about that. He just got maybe relaxed. Well, he's out of it. And they took the whole thing. Spike Jindrak now. Can the six foot six young man make the tag? 
to Sean O'Hare, his tag team partner. They've been they've been so close. They've been so good. He's going the wrong way. He really is. He's up. He's using the ropes. He is near the neutral corner. Wrong way, Mark. We call him. No, we don't call him that. Either. I do. Now Jindrak on his hands and knees. Sean O'Hare. But also now, stage action. Oh. But Palumbo in the ring now with Jindrak. Shoulder block takedown. He's up top. John Tom Brown. Here comes. Oh, oh. Behind the thunder. John Tom Brown in even position. But the leg flexor cracked the knee. And that goes Jindrak. Right in the back of the knee. He's done. He is done. He may have blown out a knee right there, Brain. Up we go. Down we go. Double pancake and the fans are booing already. Here's a cover. One, two, three. Time to go. Here's the first of the man steals another one. It's a win for Stasiak and Palumbo here on World Wide Wrestling. That wraps up this edition of WCW Worldwide. Four exclusive matches. We saw them earlier on. But let's talk about New Blood Rising legend. August 13th on pay-per-view, Booker T's very first pay-per-view title defense, and what a challenger in Jeff Jarrett. Well, challenger in Jeff Jarrett, the self-proclaimed chosen one. But again, keep that question alive. Is it only Jeff Jarrett Booker T will be up against? And the three-way dance, Kevin Nash, Goldberg, and Scott Steiner. Who will survive to get the world title shot? at Fall Brawl. So much more to happen at New Blood Rising on August 13th. We will have all of the information you need right here next week. For the Living Legend, I'm Scott Hudson. See you next week right here on WCW Worldwide.